Traditional beliefs in miracle cures is set to be a major reason for the appeal to evangelical churches in Nigeria. Charismatic preachers use electronic, print and social media to spread a powerful message to millions of people and fill church auditoriums. There are millions of followers of evangelical churches in Nigeria. According to the World Christian Database in Boston, USA, there are over 4 million followers of the Pentecostal faith in Nigeria the third highest ranking in the world. Lagos, the commercial capital of Nigeria, is home to the fastest growing Christian missions in Africa. One of the main features of the Pentecostal churches is the use of broadcast, print and the internet is spreading its message. Another is the practice of incorporating elements of traditional African culture such as upbeat music, loud sermons and above all, reinforcing deeply held beliefs in witchcraft and demons. Evangelical churches like the CNS Church reinforce traditional African beliefs. Religious revivals and crusades like this one by the new Seraphs have become a worldwide symbol for the huge success of evangelical churches in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. It is however said that what appeals to church followers is the promise of cures from poverty and disease through God's blessing. People are coming to church because they want miracle, you know, they want instant miracle. And the word of God is more than that. The faithful believes those who discover the Holy Spirit will lead transformed lives and that sickness and misfortune can only befall heathens. Convener of the new Seraph in the CNS Church, Dr. Olusheye Yomi Sholoye, ministered on the efficacy of prayers. She said good teaching of the word of God should be topmost in the hearts of all seraphs. Dr. Sholoye, who doubles as the deputy primate of Faith Mission CNS Church, Satellite Town, said to these are the nights of divine experience with a the theme manifestation of his new glory. You try to find yourself. Don't be hopeless, it's not hopeless. There's always a future. It can be wished away anytime. According to this clergyman, the modern day CNS Church had deviated from the core mandate of the founding fathers. The new Seraph said the church has not been so forceful and pushful in carrying out the evangelism mandate today like of old. The reason we have been crying for revival all around is because the church is completely deviating from the mandate. The desire for money, the desire for wealth, the desire for property has taken over the original mandate. Speaking on the state of the nation, Dr. Shuleya said the church is praying for the resolution of the challenges facing the country. We are already praying for peace for Nigeria. There is no country like home. We have no other country that can come to Nigeria. So we keep praying for our come, come to Nigeria for peace, but we want the government to rise up and look at all different sectors and bring them together peacefully. They should try and come up with something better so that Nigeria will be able to move forward. What we believe in Seraph is that there is no door that prayer cannot open. It's only prayer that can solve this problem because we don't know who is who. The change must start with somebody. We shouldn't look up to the people in government. Somebody down here, somebody up there, somebody in one corner there should take a stand for what is right and Nigeria will get back on track. The new CRF say they are not out to break away from the unification of the bigger CNS church, but an attempt to sensitize the people on areas that could bring unity in the church as a whole.